Chapter 4 Listen to me, you fat cows of Samaria, you women who oppress the poor and crush the needy, and who are always asking your husbands for another drink. The Sovereign Lord has sworn this by His Holiness. The time will come when you will be led away with hooks in your noses. Every last one of you will be dragged away like a fish on a hook. You will leave by going straight through the breaks in the wall. You will be thrown from your fortresses. I, the Lord, have spoken. Go ahead and offer your sacrifices to the idols at Bethel and Gilgal. Keep on disobeying. Your sins are mounting up. Offer sacrifices each morning, and bring your tithes every three days. Present your bread made with yeast as an offering of thanksgiving. Then give your extra voluntary offerings, so you can brag about it everywhere. This is the kind of thing you Israelites love to do, says the Sovereign Lord. I brought hunger to every city and famine to every town, but still you wouldn't return to me, says the Lord. I kept the rain from falling when you needed it the most, ruining all your crops. I sent rain on one town, but withheld it from another. Rain fell on one field, while another field withered away. People staggered from one town to another for a drink of water, but there was never enough. But still you wouldn't return to me, says the Lord. I struck your farms and vineyards with blight and mildew. Locusts devoured all your fig and olive trees, but still you wouldn't return to me, says the Lord. I sent plagues against you like the plagues I sent against Egypt long ago. I killed your young men in war and slaughtered all your horses. The stench of death filled the air, but still you wouldn't return to me, says the Lord. I destroyed some of your cities as I destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Those of you who survived were like half-burned sticks snatched from a fire. But still you wouldn't return to me, says the Lord. Therefore I will bring upon you all these further disasters I have announced. Prepare to meet your God, as he comes in judgment, you people of Israel. For the Lord is the one who shaped the mountains, stirs up the winds, and reveals his every thought. He turns the light of dawn into darkness, and treads the mountains under his feet. The Lord God Almighty is his name.